All right, what's up guys? This is our actually last day in the, on this trip, I guess. We're in Connecticut right now. Just came back from Martha's Vineyard. Got Emily, we got Matt in the back. This camera's very low, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're heading out to a spring floor, actually, some gym, I don't know what it's called. But yeah, looking forward to it. My first time tricking on a spring floor, so we're gonna hopefully throw some cool mm -hmm. stuff. Spring floor. Wow, I feel like Aspen tree. About to send my first backflip on screen four. I'm pretty excited. Oh my oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> it's so bouncy. <laughs> I mean, it feels kind of cool. Screen four feels crazy. That's trying to send double front flip right now. Oh, come on. No way. Oh, I can't Let's go. go. Grass is way better than sprint four. Is grass better than sprint four? See, grass is better. Grass is better. <laughs> it's pretty cool we did double front flip on the trampoline though, but everything else honestly felt slop. Let me talk. Oh, everything yeah, no. else felt sloppy, all right. Another thing about sprint four is it's really hot in there. I'm, I was dead after like a back flip, so. Raise your hand for grass. I thought you were gonna hit that wall right there. <laughs> come guys it is the end of the first collab well for me at least but it was fun martha's vineyard had a nice session there came back here did some stuff so these guys we'll see them again in the future this will not be the last time all right but guys it has been real let's get a fist pump boom Where's your <laughs> let's go home and just like that we're back home i just skipped the entire car ride because i didn't want to bore you guys but it is so nice to see this dog again what's up Callie? what's up i think i missed you more than you missed me but it was so weird seeing tricks in real life like i've actually never seen anyone do a flip like right in front of me i've only ever seen someone do it like on a screen or something one thing i noticed about flipping with people is that it kind of forces you to just like go for something like the tdr spin cork you saw in the last video i probably wouldn't be able to land if i was just by myself but because i was with people it kind of like motivated me kind of like forced me to just go for it and i actually ended up landing it first try which is pretty cool but real quick i thought it'd be pretty cool to go over like my favorite clips i got from this trip so obviously the best thing i think that happened was this tdr corkscrew like i said i landed this first try my first ever attempt at tdr cork 
and just stomped it. It honestly wasn't even that hard. Like once I went into the trick, it just felt natural to go into the cork and it was just super easy to land. I honestly don't know how I've just never even done this before. And then here's the second one I've ever attempted. This clip I like. This clip is just like super clean and like just nice to watch. So those two t corks corkscrews are freaking awesome. So pumped I was able to just go for that. And then this combo I did was probably my favorite combo I've done this entire trip. Tornado kick to a front sweep into frisbee and then ended it with the cart dub. I mean just like the seed and everything and like the combo was super clean. And then some other pretty cool stuff I did was from this bridge. I did two pretty big tricks in my opinion. Well big for me at least. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is this Coca-Cola I did, which if you don't know, it's like a backflip variation. You do a backflip, stall out, and then go into another one. I actually cannot believe I sent this. Like, this is my first time going cliff jumping in about two years, and for some reason, I felt confident that I could do it, and I just do it. It's funny, because no matter the height I do double backflips from, I always land on my head. This is about 20 feet in the air. I do the double, and I just land on my head. Well, kind of like my belly. And if I do it in my pool, I still land on my head. So, like, I, can't, I don't know why. <laughs> the bridge is a little too high for me to do double backflip from. I kind of felt like I was just gonna, like, over rotate so that's why I did the coca-cola and then the other one I did that I'm pretty proud of is this rodeo this gainer rodeo I did like that I don't know it just looks so cool this is also a trick I've never attempted in my life before but I've done gainer before I've done rodeo before so I decided to just like squish them together and yeah it looks pretty cool oh I forgot about this clip so this is actually the first time popping full out of touchdown raise and I just decided to combo it and go into a double full after that so yeah TDR pop full double full not too bad oh and then this clip is so scenic. The sunset, the beach, me. I just did a cart dub on top of the sand, which is actually pretty difficult. Look how much my feet sink into the sand. Like, they are a few inches under the sand, and I still was able to just dub it. I also did a dub in front of this, like, lighthouse. I thought it was pretty cool. It was, like, a really rainy day, so this one took a couple of attempts. I kept slipping, but, yeah. It was pretty sick. I like that lighthouse, and then, obviously, the dub was pretty cool. Stomped. It. There were like people looking at me every time me and Matt were flipping like there's so many people watching You can see this like girl in the back. She was watching me do a couple of attempts I just kept failing and then this one after I landed it. She was like He got it. He got it And then here is my second or third time maybe doing full pot full pot full I haven't done full pot full times three since last year. So I was pretty hyped about this and almost went into the fourth one, but I just did not. I'll try to hit four sometime this summer. I think I can get it. Yeah, me and Matt just synced this flash kick. It looked pretty sick. And then here's the first double front flip I did without going into my pool. What do you call this thing? Like a tumble track? It's not like a trampoline. It's like a gymnastics thing. I don't really know. But those are by far like the coolest clips I think I got on this trip. It's pretty cool having the camera moving and like following me while I was flipping. Way better than me just putting my camera on the ground and just filming my flips. I'm super motivated now to just like go on so many more tricky meetups and stuff. There's a lot of people in places I'm gonna go to and meet up with. I would love to try to get in like one more trip before summer ends at least. I don't know who it's gonna be with or where it's gonna be but I just want to go on like another trip because it was pretty fun. Oh, but I still have to unpack. There's so much stuff in my bag still. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm hoping the videos aren't too boring after this trip because obviously the trip was super fun but i'm gonna try my best to uh make it entertaining i guess i don't know so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching peace out